Hey Libra, welcome to your April 2020 General Tower reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you've clicked on one of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. Would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my community here on YouTube. I know I say this every month, but my newbies may not know is that I do focus on my subscribers first and foremost when I shuffle. So make sure you smash that bell icon as well so you're notified every time I upload a reading. Um, I will be bringing two readings for the month of April. Uh, this is a general reading and then the next series will be who's my future partner. If you guys still like those readings, let me know. Leave a heart emoji down in the comment section if you want me to continue to do the who's my future partner. It's, it's kind of my signature reading. I've been doing it, you know, since I've been on YouTube, but you know, things get old and stagnant. So would love your feedback if that works for you still at this point moving forward. Um, we're going to clarify this puppy. We're going to go a little deeper. Okay. I'm using this new tarot deck called the Radiant Wise Tarot. I love, love, love it. If you're interested, um, I did get it on Amazon and the links are below in the description box. Okay, let's just get into it, Libra, and um, see what's going on for you. Um, wow, this feels awfully specific. I mean, I would definitely say this is probably relationship-driven. It could be business partnership, but um, we'll see. Your overall energy is the Eight of Swords, and this is just, yeah, fearing the worst, being in your head, um, yeah, just self-sabotage even, like can't see your way out, can't see your way through. But a lot of times this is self-induced, like you, you, you're trapped, you know, you're feeling, uh, uh, mentally tortured right now and not being able to make a move forward. But you can see how this card indicates that, you know, she's not bound by change. She could easily get out of these swaddles take the blindfold off and these swords are not crossing her path. Like she could easily move forward, but you know, sometimes it's hard, right? It's easier said than done. So you looks like you're going through a hard time or will be in the month of April sleep this night. Yeah. You have the eight and nine of swords here. So, woof. um, definitely not being able to, wow. Get out of your own way here. Um, six of swords under that. Look at all this mental stress and energy here. So this could very well be, maybe there's been some problems in your relationship and there's been ups and downs. Um, I feel maybe you could even have left a relationship. See how this card is indicated by, it could be male or female, no gender specifics here, but a person and a child, like maybe the decision was made that, the love isn't, isn't there. The love isn't what you thought it was. And you're moving forward. Temperance being patient. Could have been dealing with Sagittarius, trying to find your balance, trying to follow your divine inspiration and divine path. Underneath that is the 10 of... Yeah, so maybe this was something that... A relationship that was very prosperous and loving and looked like it had the greatest potential to be, you know, everything you ever wanted in relationship, children, family, homes, real estate, uh, emotional abundance here. Some of you could be dealing with a earth sign here. Um, I just heard maybe some of you married for money. Um, yeah, being attracted to somebody. Wow. I keep digging here to check out the past, but what I can tell you is that it was real. Okay. Ace of Cups in your past is definitely confirmation of a new beginning in love, relationships. Could even, like I said earlier, be a business partner for some of you, but this is, you know, having it all, baby. You know, God handing you this chalice of love, a new awakening of your emotions, feeling like you've been blessed from heaven. But something went down. We're going to clarify this because there's a big gap here. In your current position, in your present position, you have the Eight of Cups. So this is moving on um, from what no longer serves you. And there could be a lot of sadness here, emotionally speaking. Maybe you feel like you've achieved all that you could in this relationship. There's definitely maybe wasn't some kind of balance or harmony here. You do have the six of 
uh, pentacles as your advice. And when I see that, that, that always tells me there's balance and fairness and love and that there's a turn, you know, for the better. Uh, but this could be financially um, an issue here. We'll get that. I didn't mean to jump ahead. But I think if you could find the balance and see your way through um, this particular situation, you're going to come out of this. So um, in your future position, you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I know you're a beautiful air sign, but this could be um, your partner, your significant other um, that might be playing a very um, futuristic role for you in your life. Maybe sometime in October things might turn around or things might finally dissipate and come to a conclusion here. I do see endings with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, um, at its face value, is somebody that definitely goes for that transformation. They, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're manifestors, right? They manifest what they want through adversity and difficulty. So I see you standing in your power here, Libra. Um, this doesn't have to be an air sign to indicate that it's you, but I see that you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this and know that you made the right decision to leave this situation that's been coming to a close here that maybe you've been feeling guilty about too. Maybe you're the one that left or you've been on the fence about making these changes. Um, and it's, you know, you've just been transitioning and it's life. It's not easier said than done sometimes, right? There's so many extenuating circumstances. Now, your advice from the tarot for the month of April is the Six of Pentacles. So I just mentioned that. This is getting what you deserve. Um, maybe you've been giving and giving, and yeah, it's been financially difficult for you because this does represent financial security. You can see how this... Um, what is he? I don't know. This gentleman... Now looking at this person and giving them money, right? Because there's been a, um, a sense of generosity of spirit here. So maybe some give and take, okay, um, would be critical for you to see your way through here. Giving to others that, you know, it's funny. I've been seeing this energy a lot for April, this sense of, you know, we, we the energy of giving comes back twofold, three times fold, right? So if you have the financial security, maybe a sharing with others, giving to others. Um, if you're struggling, then this does indicate that help is on its way. Could be from a water sign here because you do have the king of cups, which is your influence. So this could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer person coming in to assist you. There's an influence here of somebody that could be older, um, not necessarily you know old, old, but this is somebody that's mature, somebody that's kind of been around the block. This is somebody that has control over their emotions. And you see they're standing steadfast on their throne, but there's, there's rocky water around them. So maybe, you know, this is the turmoil you're dealing with. And this person's going to come in and be like, okay, Libra, I can help you get through this. So keep an open heart and keep an open mind here because help is on the way for you um, to see your way through this particular situation, this heartache, this breakup, this, this changing of the guards as far as a business partnership. All right. Now your obstacle is the hanged man. Yeah. And th this makes sense. This is feeling like you're in a holding pattern, waiting, um, you know, or feeling like you have to surrender or sacrifice to something, Whew, a delayed decision. This could be legal. Like I said, we're going to clarify here in a few minutes. So for most of April, you could still be in this state where you're, you're trying to, to find the clarity to get past this, um, mental stress and anxiety, Libra, you know, this is my Pisces card. You got some water energy here. You know, we have you know, <laughs> coming out of the sun in Pisces, Mercury was in Pisces. So I'm trying to remember your March reading. Was there some difficulty then too? something going on here? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm picking up like on some similar energy. I don't know. You guys would have to 
kind of comment below and let me know if this seems like it, it's an ongoing situation. But um, the hanged man, so yeah, uh, becoming enlightened, you know, and this is voluntary, so this is good. Like I see you putting in the effort to find your clarity. It's not like you're being stubborn here. You're really trying to get past this pain, you know, the, this difficulty, which is good. Um, and it looks like you've been through the ringer already. You know what I'm saying? Like this all in your past. So now it's hopeful. You're moving forward. You're going to be standing in your power here, not taking any crap, you know, and you know that unfortunately it's like you come to some resolution that you know that you have to make this move. Um, so you're walking into a brand new day and that's, that's quite, um, hopeful here. You know, you're leaving the fear behind. Um, you're going to leave the emotional upset behind. Okay. You want more in your life and you deserve more and it's coming financially. It's coming emotionally. It's coming. Uh, tangible assets could be improving here as well. Okay. You possibly needing to ask for money now because there's money coming in or you being in the strong place to give to others. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at your overall energy here. I'm pulling these angel crystal cards because I, they're kind of twofold. They send a beautiful message, but they also, Hey, get a piece of this. Uh, what do they call it? Rotocrosite, ro ro rotocrosite, rotocrosite. <laughs> Look on Amazon. Um, you need just a little piece. I would keep it in your pocket. Keep it on um, maybe in a pouch with some clear coarse crystals for the month of April to help you. The message here is be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Yeah, so wow, pretty amazing. Um that the universe is confirming that definitely there's there's been some journey here that's been difficult. Now, your final outcome is the Ten of Wands. And this is an ending of a cycle of you trying to push through here, right? You see how he's his head is down and he's trying to push forward through all these wands. But, you know, you haven't dropped him. And don't because you're almost home. So you will transition doing what you need to do to get through this difficult time. Let's start clarifying here because I want to understand here. Um, what's coming for you in the future? Because you're really moving into a sense of power here. People around you to help you. You need to find your clarity. Okay. Um, well, that's too many. All right. What are we clarifying? I'm going to clarify the um, Queen of Wands. Let's clarify the, the Six of Pentacles. Let's do that. I want to go a little deeper on this advice. Just a card of generosity. I'm hoping for a jumper. If nobody pops out, then I'll just pull a card. Ooh, Lord of Mercy. Ooh, more air energy for you, Libra. I love you guys. This is like your card, actually. So, Two of Swords, again, trying to make a decision. Struggling with... Um, Feeling blinded, not sure where you're going. Um, very interesting. Okay, let's see what else here. Come on. Needing to put down these swords. What is this decision? Or I see her moving on. I see he or she. No gender specific. I see movement here in the month of April. Give me a little bit more insight. Why is the Two of Swords here? You can't see the generosity. You can't see. Maybe you're blinded by money here. Queen of Pentacles. 
I feel like you have money, even though that's an earth sign. There's something here. All right, I don't want to jump the gun yet. Let me get one more card, because this could be another person. Okay, soulmate energy here. Thinking about when you know times when times are better. Again, uh, and I think I mentioned this earlier. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Not necessarily, but maybe this is somebody that was your king or queen. You know, um, and that you were real kindred spirits, and it was good at one point, and now you just feel like nostalgic. You know. Um, all right, the hangman, let's, let's clarify this obstacle. What else can Libra do to move on? I see they're going to move on, but it's still difficult. Maybe you have moved on, but you're still struggling. What's going to bring the clarity in, uh, for Libra here? Oh, nice. Focusing in on the completion of going through the, um, the journey here, unfortunately. The cycle is about to close for you. Um, focusing in on some creative projects would be beneficial for you as well. I see you climbing this mountain. Wow. Yeah, and being able to get your, get your clarity, get your money, again, for those of you that, and your independence. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah, creative projects. Seeing your business. Now, for some of you in business, this is completing some projects. Maybe you just need to clear up some projects with this business partner if you choose to leave this business partner. But I see you cutting a very good deal for yourself. You will be the, the nine of pentacles here. Um, standing in your power getting what you need, having what you need financially, feeling secure and tangible assets, creating, uh, finishing a creative cycle here. Let's see what else. Okay, so we're clarifying the hangman. Now we want to understand what's going to help, maybe envisioning, you know, um, the success and fighting for yourself here. I feel though it's more of a, not fighting, but knowing your rights, okay? Especially if this is a business deal. I feel you have what you need, Libra. So let's see, okay. Anything else on this Nine of Pentacles with the Hanged Man? We're clarifying this. Anything, anything here? Maybe that's why there's no jumpers. Are we good with the Hanged Man? Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, focusing in on your future. Some good luck and timing coming in here for, you know, it can be very overwhelming to make these kind of changes, but I think down in your heart, Libra, you know that you're making the right move here. Um, it will turn in your favor. You will get the money you need. You will complete this cycle. Um, you will complete projects. You will complete, um, know that you made the right decision to move on. Um, this King of Cups I mentioned could have been your lover or your... Um, business partner here. Just looking at the other cards. King of Cups. King of Cups. Your influence. Yeah, this is a powerful business leader. You know, there is some diplomacy that comes with this king or having clear boundaries. Maybe you just need to set your boundaries here. Take responsibility for your actions. Um, this is a powerful business leader as well. So this is, you could get some business advice here. Okay with the King of Cups. And I would take advantage of that. So you know that you're you're covered. All right, let's see what's going on here. 
Libra's making the right move. I see her. I see Libra turning the wheel of fate in their favor. I see money. Even though there's some nostalgic here, maybe some pain. <clears throat> you will be moving forward, Libra. <clears throat> All right, let's clarify the, the Ten of Wands. Let's see how this plays out. Ooh, Judgment Renewal. Look at that. Beautiful. This is Second Chances. This is you moving in your power. Wow. Uh, Page of Swords. Okay, so this is communication that's going to be coming in for you. Rising from the ashes, having a second chance. You're going to receive a message from a page of source. This is, could be somebody younger than you. Um, this is a certain amount of divine timing that's coming in with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, this is the journey to the truth. It's going to kind of set you free, Libra. I love that. Divine timing. The angel's going to blow their horn here. Whoa, look at this hope and inspiration for your future. You got the star card. I mean, that's amazing. What an amazing reading. And it looks, yes, strength at the bottom. Looks like you've just been through it, Libra. Um, but there's so much hope for your future here. The star card. It's my Aquarius card. Okay, we have judgment. Okay, and the page of swords. Now... <clears throat> Okay, there could be messages coming in um, that is going to help you solidify your plans moving forward. Okay, because the Page of Swords um, can be a little pessimistic. I, I just don't see that here. Um, pages are about opportunities coming in and the communication that you need. And it's air energy, and this could even be you too. Okay, Um you know, finding your way through the weeds here and starting new, starting fresh, okay? Um, second chances, you will be able to make that decision. Anything that you were struggling with over here, knowing you made the right decision, hearing the call and seeing the truth and you're at this crossroads and you're, <clears throat> you're I mean, because when you see the Ten of Wands with judgment, this says, yeah, you're done. You're at this crossroads. You you're putting these wands down, and that's what's key with the tens. Um, to turn it to a one, so you have a brand new beginning, you have to put this, the wands down. So you need maybe some final completion here. But by the end of April, I think you're going to be able to to breathe. It's 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 completing a cycle as well, and you got that with the wheel of fortune. Wow, making an important plan, reinventing yourself, finding the clarity that you need. That's been your obstacle here. It's a truth card. So changes need to be made in your life. I think you're moving in the right direction here. There's a call to action to account for your decisions, which is good. And you're going to come away by the end of April knowing where you stand. So stay on task. Accept any necessary changes. Um... Even though this is a struggle, you know, mentally for you here, you got it going on and it's so quite positive. Let's look at, I'm just going to pull, this deck is the Tower of Dreams. And I actually haven't really officially started using them other than some clarifying. Let's see if we can get some additional guidance. Sometimes it feels good just to... Grab a fresh deck. Okay, any additional advice for my beautiful Librans? Thank you for your likes um, on my March videos. Oh, that almost flipped out, but didn't. Really appreciate it. Okay, any, any advice for Libra? Okay, we're going to get a jumper here, maybe. Just try a couple more times. Let's see. Any additional advice? We've got the um, be gentle with yourself. Take some healing baths. Um, 
spend some time in nature. Three of Swords. Okay, you got, you know, I feel like this is you, Libra. All these difficult, it's funny because, not funny, funny, haha, -ha, but you just had King of Cups again. Ooh, hoo, hoo, at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. This is definitely somebody that's going to be significant in your life in the month of April for sure. Yeah, heartache. Oh, look, she's crying. You see that? So you were, you were definitely hurt, without a doubt. Maybe there was some cheating or third-party influence here. Um, and I don't denote all swords cards as, you know, discord, but there is definitely some, the way they're coming through for you, let me just put it to you this way, for the month of April is dealing with a difficult situation. I mean, we have to look at that. So maybe there was a recent breakup, cheating, um, just being really disappointed um, in someone or a situation. Pain, heartache, it's here, without a doubt. You got the three of swords. Uh, and this card in regular tarot was depicted by the, you know, the image of the heart being stabbed, you know, three times. So I'm so sorry, Libra, for those of you that have been through a hard time, but you know, um, there's a lot of hope and inspiration for your future here. I mean, I think this is going way beyond um, April. So you're on the right path. I want to wish you all the best for the month of April. If this resonated for you, I am available for private readings. If you want to go deeper, definitely make sure you check me out over on the gram um, at The Clarity Cure. I do um, little mini readings over there as well. So, all right, guys, take care. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Have a great month. All right. Bye-bye.